Greetings, beautiful souls and fellow Arkans. So today we're going to have first impressions and trying out this uh, Gansai Pencil Fizz from Kuretake Company Limited. So I haven't seen any other set like this and I found this at a Japanese surplus shop in Shopee, Philippines. So this is what it looks like. So it's from a surplus shop and there's actually a pencil missing. But it comes with this pamphlet and the one that's missing is number 67 or... Oh wait, no, this is the number 67. I think what's missing is the black just the number um, 20 so most of you will know um, Kuretake Gansai Tambi paints and apparently this is the Gansai pencil so it's basically in pencil form so as you can see there are several ways to use it you can draw you can use it like regular watercolor pencils or you could use a brush and directly paint with the and use it like ink sticks. Okay. So let's take a look at this set. Comes in a sturdy sturdy um plastic case. So this one is actually relatively new. I was pleasantly surprised by the quality of the surplus. So we have a brush pen, so I'm guessing this is waterproof, and it also comes with a brush, a bamboo brush, a water bottle, so you can remove this tray and you can put the water there, sharpener, and then of course we have um, the colors, the color, watercolor pencil, the Gansai pencil rather, and then we also have the draw, uh, regular graphite or like pencil, so let's try it out, I'm going to get watercolor paper, so this one is from Artillery PH, and these are the Mia Kimi watercolor papers. I'm not sure if there's a right side or wrong side. Like usually with um, student grade watercolor papers, they have one side that is smooth and the other side is textured. Usually you paint on the textured side. So let's try um, using the pencil. And then, so this is a big set. I'm going to just draw. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's a soft lead. A little, a little brush goes a long way. 